thank you, and I formally move the motion in the name of Dara Miller. Across the farming communities in Wales, from the upland areas to the coastal regions, and to my own area in the heart of Wales, in Brecon and Radnorshire, our agricultural communities and our farmers work tirelessly to feed the nation and ensure the environment is protected and our landscapes managed in a sustainable way. To quote the NFU, farmers are all too often seen as the problem when in reality they are the solution to our environmental challenges. The rural landscape is not just for farmers, but for us all, for future generations to encourage diversity, thrive in ecosystems and wildlife. It is also vital for our economy to attract tourists who bring much needed revenue to local businesses and to our communities. Our farmers play a huge role, producing food to feed the nation. Farmers are passionate about their land, committed to working towards the best practices, producing top quality products with the highest standards of animal welfare and environmental protections. However, Welsh Government's agricultural policies over the years have shown contempt for farmers and our rural communities, promising one thing and then delivering another. The recent U-turn to introduce the All Wales Nitrate Vulnerable Zone is an example of such. The data from elsewhere in the world shows this policy to be ineffective and is a sledgehammer to crack a nut. Some areas of Wales have recorded no agricultural pollution incidents in 10 years, yet all farmers are being penalised. There's no interventions at this point. Whilst in one pollution, because we are hybrid model. Whilst one pollution incident is one too many, a blanket policy is hurting the industry at a time when they need support. The financial package of support provided from the Welsh Government is woefully inadequate, putting large cost burdens onto our farmers in order them to adapt to these changes. Despite assurances on no less than between seven and ten occasions, the Minister assured farmers this blanket approach would not be imposed during the pandemic. And in a blink of an eye, with no consultation with the industry, the Minister decided to plough ahead and break promises again. All too often, agriculture gets blamed for increased nitrates in our rivers, and yet, a panorama investigation alleged that Welsh water had been illegally dumping sewage into the River Usk in my constituency. This seems to get ignored. Recent data from Welsh water itself also suggests in 2020, raw sewage was dumped into Welsh rivers more than 100,000 times for almost 900,000 hours across more than 2,000 water treatment works and sewage outflows. Do we see any real action from Welsh Government over this? No, we don't. Furthermore, Welsh Government's own data suggests between January and November 2020, the water industry accounted for the most pollution incidents relating to surface water in Wales, with 180 recorded during this period. But who still gets the blame for polluting our rivers? You got it, it's farmers. This Government claims Climate change is a huge issue, and I don't disagree. Who would? But I'm afraid your track record on actually tackling climate change is questionable at best. You purchased an airport at huge cost to the taxpayer, endorsing putting toxic fumes into the atmosphere. And then you went and spent millions of taxpayer money on a road to nowhere and refused to build the M4 relief road ensuring that every day thousands of cars queue up in traffic jams along the M4, pumping poisonous toxins and carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Yet again, you say one thing and then you do another. Throughout the pandemic, our farmers have fed the nation, ensuring essential supplies are available. And rightfully so, we clapped our NHS and our carers. And instead of going out and clapping for our farmers, the Welsh Government he seemed to think a slap in the face was far more appropriate. Our farmers deserve better than this from the Welsh Government and from a minister who one time I trusted to support the industry. 
and all Wales MVZ legislation is unacceptable. It has been described as a lazy cut and paste from a 30-year-old EU directive, which places more pressure on already hard-pressed farmers who are dealing with COVID-19. It is harming agricultural businesses, livelihoods, and putting a huge mental strain on farmers yet again, and for very questionable benefits. Natural Resources Wales, Welsh Government's own regulator warned you, and it's proposed in the new water rules, and I quote, it will have a perverse outcome of making, making water quality worse, and they may not have sufficient resources to effectively deliver the regulatory inspection regimes associated with the regulations. Despite the warnings and the huge strain on people's mental health and businesses and their well-being, you pushed ahead with the MVZ regardless. We have heard the scathing reviews from all the farming unions in Wales. And I ask the Welsh Government, why do you not trust the vast majority of farmers who are responsible and do not pollute? What we need is a policy that is more flexible, evidence-based, and has the support of the industry to address pollution. At a time when the Welsh Government should be working in partnership with our farmers, they slam the door shut on collaboration and instead press ahead with imposing costly plans which are woefully underfunded and could drive a number of farmers out of the industry. We on the Conservative benches urge the Government and other members in this chamber and online to support our motion, to have a review of this draconian legislation. Let's listen to the experts in the industry and let the relevant committee do its work to ensure the best possible legislation is put through this Parliament. So let's all move forward together and ensure our beautiful country not only maintains but improves our high food and environmental standards, working with our farmers and not against them. Dear.